Hello, do you want to manage your Google accounts on full? Means you Google admin, but you technically can't go and do something as your user because most of no code tools require you to connect your account and so. So how to do it if you want to make some action on behalf of your Google uh, user in your org. So I'll show you uh, some examples and say I have a couple of users in my org, right? And say you want to uh, create account, right, for the particular user in your uh, team for this user. So that's the calendars for both of my users. So this one, see, doesn't have anything on mine. And another user in here doesn't have at all uh, events on this week. So I'm going to create the one event for a user with the name of Alex in here right and then i'm going to event create event on another user in my google org right so uh see now alex got one event created here and now i'm going to create an event for info and this event as you can see here it's not created by someone else i'm not invited this is the event that i've created literally right like because i uh like a granted permission for that particular service account to do actions on my behalf. And I can do the same for ton of things, literally any, almost any Google API thing. So for example, I can again pull files for uh, one user from my Google and see how much files I have for this guy, right? Uh, more than hundred, right? And I can pull the files for Alex, which is another account. And you will see that Alex has only, say, two files here, right? And if you want to know how to do it, please stay tuned. By the end of the video, you will know how to do it in full. You will get the access to this application and you will know everything about uh, Google service account and how to work with them on the beginning level, at least. So stay tuned. Basically, uh, we have a Google API and most of the local tools have a thing like connect your account and do something with your file. So you, you connect it to your email technically, right? Uh, and you use it for download files or, you know, create a Google event calendars or send the email. But what if you want to use it on full? What if you want to pretend you are another user or impersonate yourself? For this, Google also has the features, and in this video, you're going to know how to use it, and even you get some uh, tip and the module. So stay tuned, and by the end of the video, you will know how to do it. So basically, uh, for this, we're going to use a method that calls a service account. So if you quickly type Google API uh, service account, you will be able to find a best doc, which will be fully transparent on how to do it, right? So it's uh, all connection of Google and a service user, right? So um, this set here, and you basically have the whole description of how to do it. I'll try to do it short for you and give you most relevant points you need to know. So first, you need to go to, as it says here, create a service account, right? So you may open this page at once. From here, or if you have like a several accounts, I would prefer to go and uh, do it in Google. So we will work with the two things. So one, it's a Google Cloud uh, or Cloud Console, right? And the second one, it's a your Google Admin, uh, which is here, right? And uh, in here, we will assign a role for our stuff. So let's not waste the time and let's go through uh, it real quick. So first of all, you need to create a project so I hope you know how to do it. So you just click the new project here and you create a new project. So it's important to activate APIs for your project. So for this, you may select this menu and go and uh, find this API and services, enable the APIs that you want to use. So for myself, for this particular project, I have already enabled Google Drive APIs, uh, Google uh, Gmail API and Google Calendar API at least plus you also need to go over the scopes uh, for this API. So let's uh, go real quick. So this API and services, right? So you enable your APIs here. So basically you just go and select the APIs you want to use. So for example, Gmail uh, and you need to enable it. It's a button here. It's a bit slow. So enable APIs, right? So here it will be a 
list of API you want to use and say you want to have a Gmail, right? So you select a Gmail and you need to make sure that this is already active in your particular project, right? So then uh, in consent, out consent screen, you need to make sure that your uh, project already has these scopes in here. So you go through the settings. It's a totally different topic, uh, not fully related on this. I hope you know how to do it, or you can quickly Google it, or I even have a video on how to do this, right, already. So I will put a reference in the top corner. But the point is you activate all the scopes. I just want to quickly pass this to not waste too much time on it because we have things to do. So then you go to uh, the thing that calls um, Identity Access Management, or AIAM, an admin, and you find the service accounts. And this is the place where we're going to create this uh, super duper service user. And again, all of this definitely works on a paid account where you have uh, some users. So as you see here, I have one user uh, per year. If I refresh this page, it show me a new user that I already created and um, it's already in play. So let's just do it with a login. And this page should show me that I have two users already here. So this Alex demo is my kind of test user, as you see here, create there you go. So it's not uh, new in particular. So then on this service account page, you need to click on create service account. You put a name, something like a test demo video to whatever name you will give it. So you click continue, you go through all of these steps. So you select a role. I give this action admin, this should be enough. And so on, again, this is a bit bigger topic on how to give this all content and so on. And then uh, you will get a new user created, okay? So this is it. You need to copy this ID of this, uh, your client and go to Google Admin. Uh, in Google Admin, you have the security access that I control API controls where you will provide the domain delegation for that particular new guy. So you click and add new for your client. You paste this ID from your uh, service user that you just created. We have it here, right? So you either copy it from here or you can click on this guy and open it. It will be the same here. And you provide a list of scopes that this person on your opinion want to use. So open ID will be the first must scope and then you come with the rest of the scopes. So for example, you want to work with a calendar, uh, you want to work with a, say drive. Uh, for this I have my Google Drive API. And say you want to work with a Gmail. Again, how to find all the scopes and docs, you may Google it real quick. So you may use uh, comma separated stuff like this, right? Or uh, you can put them one by one. So I will add these three, which is top level for a drive, calendar, and a Gmail and the open ID this requires. So you click authorize, this gives a permission for that particular account to use this stuff. So uh, open ID is required. And then we almost done. So the last step will be literally a download the option to connect. So quickly going to technical part, you have created the service user, have delegated the access uh, thank for it. And then in here, you have a description on how to work uh, with this API. So technically, what you need to do is get a token, right, uh, by uh, creating a JOT signature for all the time when you want to perform the API call. So technically, you got a token and then you can use it universally. So this how it is, right? And if you want to be someone else, you need to have one more, another parameter as a sub for that particular call, where you will literally put uh, an email, which you're going to use to perform an action on its behalf from the service 
user email, okay? That's basically it. So you don't need to go in this technical part because I have an app created for you. And here we can now go and uh, really quick test this out. So first I'm going to create a connection for it. So see here, we have these type of uh, stuff to fill. So first of all, it will be our email, uh, video three, say, um, and this email, it's a service email. So I go back to my uh, created user and I copy this email. Again, it's a service account, so you can copy it from here, right, just with this button, uh, or when you open it, like this. So you paste this. down here, then you need to have a key for your thing. So this key is something that we need to create on a keys tab for your service user. So you click at click at keys, create a new, should be a JSON, click create, and it downloads the key. Okay, so then uh, you can quickly go and preview this JSON. I just do it with a space on Mac and copy the whole context of this. And you go back to your make module and you paste it in the JSON. So then we just need to add our scopes that we have used it. So you may skip open ID. It will be added by default or you may add it as you want. I will also add uh, my stuff for the Gmail and for calendar. Okay, so I have uh, three main scopes for using technically almost everything on Gmail, uh, on calendar and on drive, plus my uh, key uh, for a JSON, plus my service email uh, in here. That's it, so I click save. And that creates a connection for me that I can use. So right now, I can go and work with this particular user. So I have these modules already prepared and there you just stuff your API call and accounts and so on. So I have this user here and it has uh, say a couple of files or just one we created in here, right? So I can go and click create a new file real quick. And then we will be able to see both, right? So uh, test to say until it's even saved, I will hit uh, this one. So let's select our connection that we just created demo video three. So make sure it works. Let's just run it. And as you see here, we have you already yeah so it was able to save it until i hit uh and switched connection so as you see here new doc and test to doc uh for my guy if i want to see someone else docs right i just changed the email to see another account files right and here you go we got a list of all of our files in another account uh same thing we can do for the uh, messages. So I want to send, say, email right to someone else. And this is the base 64 encoding. So if I go to my send email, so you see I have three of them. Let's uh, go and really quick remove these guys. So again, I want to impersonate myself and send the email right to this guy. So we just send an email from this guy name, right? With uh, this ID and thread and so on. And if I go to send, that was already sent. So basically whatever you like, uh, whatever scopes you want to use, you can delegate the permissions and uh, you can perform a ton of actions. So either it will be, uh, for example, uh, managing permission of shared files, or it will be, say, a creation of Google Calendar 
uh, event by this particular guy, right? So see here, I have say events, uh, Google Calendar events endpoint and calendar scope. And here I want to create say a new event on say October 10th. Okay, so it's October 10th. It's um, uh, from 2031 to 2131. Uh, it's a PST. Uh, it's American New York, everything else. So, and a summary, let's say demo video three event. And let's just check real quick the calendar priority. We uh, go into add any. So, this is my calendar. As you can see here, it's a uh, 10th, right? It's clean, nothing uh, on it. I'm going to run this module. So, this is Alex. Oh, it's a get. I just need to do a pause, definitely. So, I just haven't changed the call type. So we do a post, okay? And uh, as you can see here, this is our new event created. And we able to see this in the calendar. And so now with this module, which again, uh, you can get by a link and install in your uh, make account, you can now go and impersonate anything basically without even, uh, you know, any risk or something because you, uh, will be generating the even credentials to do this call itself uh, right in a moment when you execute the module. So token will be generated, you will do it, and token will expire in a ten uh, in a hundred seconds. That's it. So you don't need to worry about this token because until you will run this module, uh, like no one even will be able to do it besides of you. And that's how you can manage all your Google work or Google work for your customer without need to create connections or something. So hope this helps. And uh, if you want to get way more details on how to set it up, if you want to set the modules uh, properly, uh, you want to make custom modules maybe on it and so on, way, way, way more info you can find in my research lab. For this, you simply type newapps.com. Slash lab, and you will be landed to my page where you will be able to find all additional information. Also, you will find all these links in the description below. So, hope this helps, and see you soon in following videos.